Hello and welcome to Prepare for an AI-Powered World with Microsoft Azure. Today's webinar is sponsored by Software One and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is Scott Becker, I'm from Actual Tech and I'm excited to be your moderator for this special event. Now, before we get to today's great session, we do have a few housekeeping items that are gonna help you get the most out of it. Let's talk questions. We want this to be an informative event for you, so we encourage any questions in the questions box in your webinar control panel. We won't be able to do a dedicated Q&A session at the end of this one, but we will pass along any questions that you have to the team from Software One for follow-up. The Q&A panel is also the place to let us know about any technical issues that you might be experiencing. A browser refresh is gonna fix most audio, video, or slide advancement issues. But if that doesn't work, just let us know in the Q&A and we'll provide further technical assistance. Okay, next, handouts. In the handouts section of your webinar control panel, you're gonna find that we're offering several resources. I'd especially like to call your attention to three PDFs from Software One. There's one on strategies for AI success, one on reasons to migrate and modernize in the era of AI, and one on cloud and data in the AI era. So these are great resources that you can download at any time during the presentation. I'm sure you noticed the prize icon there. At the end of this webinar event, we will be awarding a $250 Amazon gift card to one lucky registrant. Of course, you must be in attendance during the live event to qualify for the prize. The official terms and conditions of today's prize drawing can be found in the handout section. Just scroll to the bottom and you'll find the prize terms and conditions link there. Okay, with that housekeeping out of the way, let's get to today's timely and informative presentation. So it's my pleasure to introduce you to our presenter today, Dan Johnson. Dan is a senior consultant leading the Azure Cloud Services team for Software One. Dan joined Software One in June 2015 as a consultant with national coverage. With over 25 years in the IT industry, Dan has helped many companies work through highly complex technical issues to fully realize their IT vision and goals. Before joining Software One, Dan spent over 15 years at Microsoft as a premier support escalation engineer and a premier field engineer serving both private and public sector enterprise customers. So we're in extremely experienced hands when it comes to the ins and outs of Azure Cloud. Dan, the floor is yours. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our Azure migration and modernized discussion and uh, how it can prepare you for an AI powered world. My name is Dan Johnson and I am a Azure team lead here at Software One. We begin all our internal and external talks with a, a quick reminder of our company's core values and, and which ones we identify with at the moment. Today, I chose passion and customer focus because I have a passion for helping our customers in planning their and deploying their Azure environments. As for the agenda, uh, today we will cover what is driving customers to Azure, and more specifically, AI-powered environments, how the combination of Azure and AI can be uh, a power, very powerful tool for your organization, what the steps are um, to getting your Azure environment ready for AI services, and why you should choose Software One to prepare your Azure environment for this AI-powered world. Okay, but first let's take a look at what's driving the market towards AI technologies. So recently, organizations of all stripes have raced to incorporate Gen AI tools into their business models. And there are several reasons they, that are encouraging enterprises to adopt AI. First, business value generation. Artificial intelligence can help organizations generate significant business value. For instance, Gen AI has been reported to lead to cost uh, decreases and revenue jumps in the business units deploying the, the technology. Operational efficiency. What we've seen is that AI can increase operational efficiency and optimize supply chain management. It can also help in decreasing customer service wait times and getting more orders. 
And then there are the advancements in AI technology. There are continuous advancements in AI technology, and these advancements are acting as a key growth driver in the industry. So that leads to global interest and adoption. And there's been massive global surge in interest and adoption of artificial intelligence. In fact, a recent survey found that AI adoption jumped up to 72% with more than two thirds of the respondents in nearly every region reporting their organizations are using AI. And increased investment expenditures by governments in AI technology is another enormous driver, as well as supply chain collaboration and resilience. The relative advantages of enterprise AI technology uh, supply chain collaboration and environmental uncertainty are major factors affecting the adoption of AI technology, which subsequently provides a positive impact on supply chain resilience and performance. And then finally, market entry and product innovation. High outcome organizations are reporting results such as new market entries and product innovation that go beyond cost reduction uh, to significant revenue generation. So these drivers are leading to a race among enterprises to adopt and implement AI in their operations. And it seems possible that within the next three years, anything, anything in the technology, media, and telecommunication space not connected to AI will be considered obsolete or ineffective. So those were some of the reasons organizations were wanting to adopt AI technologies. Now, Look at some of the numbers. A recent study launched by Cisco highlights the seismic gap in customers' preparedness for AI. This study reveals only 14% of global organizations are fully prepared to deploy and leverage AI, with more than half admitting serious concerns about the impact of business if they fail to act within the next 12 months. So I've already stated that enterprises are racing to adopt AI. In fact, 97% of global organizations reported that the urgency to deploy AI-powered technologies has increased in their company in the past six months. And 61% said that they have a maximum of one year to deploy their AI strategy, or it will negatively affect their business. But 86% are just not ready to integrate artificial intelligence into their businesses. You can see how unprepared organizations are to adopt AI. And AI's effectiveness really depends greatly on its underlying systems. So this leads us to believe that to leverage all the new AI-based technologies, you need a more robust, extensible, and secure cloud infrastructure. And often, you can't just build this infrastructure on top of what you already have. You need to modernize your Azure instances and strategically migrate applications to Azure. Okay, so now that you're sold on the importance of building out your AI infrastructure, let's talk about a platform that is purpose-built for this new technology movement. So what is the power of Azure and AI. First, uh, a dedicated cloud AI platform like Microsoft Azure can help you see immediate benefits from artificial intelligence. Azure offers robust infrastructure combined with services that facilitate your development and deployment of your AI applications. And Azure AI also offers a comprehensive portfolio of cloud services for AI applications, from pre-trained AI models to a versatile application platform for developing customized applications. And there are many ways Azure can help you drive value from artificial intelligence, including pre-trained AI models, scalable, compute capabilities, data management capabilities, Azure AI services and machine learning, and Azure AI bot services, as well as networking solutions and security and compliance structures.
So the power of artificial intelligence on Azure lies in Azure's ability to provide developers and organizations with the tools to rapidly create intelligent, cutting edge, market ready and responsible applications. Here are some of the key features. Pre-built and customizable APIs and modules. Azure AI services offer out of the box and pre-built APIs and models that can be customized for specific applications. These applications can include natural language processing for conversations, search, monitoring, translation, speech, vision and decision making. And Azure AI Studio provides a space for users to find their best models, differentiate their data, deliver AI safely, and realize repeatable value. And Azure Open AI service, this is the service that allows users to try out large language models with just a few clicks. It helps automate common tasks leading to meaningful time and cost savings. And then there's integration with Microsoft products. Azure AI provides customers with access to the same proven AI capabilities that power Microsoft 365, Xbox, HoloLens, and Bing. Security and compliance, well, this ensures built-in security and compliance with Microsoft investing 20 billion in cybersecurity. And finally, there are automation and integration tools like Logic Apps and Power Automate. These features and services empower users to uncover insights, develop AI applications, and automate workflows through low code, point and click experiences. And this is the power of Azure and AI. Okay, so getting you ready for AI readiness. We built our steps to AI readiness in concert with proven reliability and of the Microsoft's cloud adoption framework for planning and deploying the underlying Azure environment. To begin, there are a number of strategy and planning exercises that will help you build that business case needed to engage in a large project such as this. First, you have to understand the importance of AI and engage your people. Recognize why artificial intelligence is important and how it can be used to solve complex problems and make your lives easier. Also, make sure that all the stakeholders and delivery resources buy into the importance of implementing AI in your organization. And then identify your motivations and business goals. Why are you moving to the cloud is a question we ask all our customers who are new to Azure. In this case, the motivations are probably for innovation reasons, such as preparing for new technology, uh, technical capabilities, uh, such as AI, or it could be in response to critical business events, such as for the reduction of disruptions and the improvement of IT stability. Whatever it is, you need to understand why you're doing this and what you intend to get out of it. Because if you don't understand this, how are you going to convince management or your organization at large the importance of it? Consider your financial and technical requirements. What is moving to an OPEX expense model or reducing your data center footprint do for your organization? Also, how can you include the scalability and availability and sustainability into your applications? You'll also need to spend some time assessing your existing environment and get performance baselines from all your systems to determine the best approach to hosting them in the cloud. Your initial organizational alignment, probably the most important aspect of any cloud adoption plan, is the alignment of people who make the plan a reality. No plan is complete until you understand its people-related aspects. 
speaking of people, get started on a skills readiness path. Cloud technologies require a different set of skills. However, learning these new skills doesn't have to be hard. With the right training, you can gain the expertise and confidence to help your organization understand and embrace the changing technology landscape. And then finally, the Cloud Adoption Plan and Azure DevOps. So Azure DevOps is a set of cloud-based tools for Azure customers who manage iterative projects. It also includes tools for managing the deployment pipelines and other as important aspects of DevOps. The next step in getting ready for your AI powered world is to plan the Azure infrastructure to be built. This includes planning for the following design areas. Identity and access management is a primary security boundary in the public cloud. It's foundation for any secure and fully compliant architecture. Network topology and connectivity decisions are equally important foundational aspect of any cloud architecture. And there's resource organization. As cloud adoption scales, considerations for subscription design and management group hierarchy have an impact on governance, operations management, and adoption patterns. And the security decisions implement controls and processes to protect your cloud environments. As for management, for stable ongoing operations in the cloud, a management baseline is required to provide visibility, uh, operations compliance, and protect and, reco and recover capabilities. And governance allows for automating, auditing, and enforcement of governance policies. And then there's, again, platform automation and DevOps. This aligns the best tools and templates to deploy your landing zones and supporting resources. Okay, and finally, build out your AI solution. This is what it all comes down to, right? Um, how do you build out your AI solution? So start with addressing governance. Many organizations skip this step and jump right into planning, but governance is the most critical part of an AI initiative. Start by establishing policies for ethical AI usage and how you will need a framework to audit your AI systems as this will help you ensure compliance. So let me give you an example. Doctors just can't load patient data into Copilot when they diagnose health issues because that data becomes public when it goes into Copilot, and that would be a, a bad reason for compliance reasons. And then finally, you want to create an AI governance board that includes uh, representatives from across your organizations, not just IT people. Then you design and build your AI solution and create a contingency plan. The stakeholders must align on what the design looks like, and you must understand what your custom, what your compute, your data storage, your networking should look like based on your targeted use cases. Then you can build data architecture that feeds your AI. And you also need the contingency plan that you can put into action if you run into issues. So having a contingency plan is, is vital to protecting your reputation. And reputation is the most critically overlooked and undervalued piece of an AI strategy. Your organization's reputation depends on how well you deliver services with AI. If you automate customer facing interfaces with AI, your experience needs to work seamlessly. Any failures with your AI infrastructure can lead to complaints. Then modernize your existing applications and data. You need to modernize your current Azure instances and infrastructure. Often, you can't just build on top of what you already have. You can refactor or re-architect your existing applications to be cloud native. Where possible, you can also convert big applications to containers so you can move them to Azure. You don't need to go 
all in at once. You can have a transition period where you tweak some critical applications to prepare them for AI. Then you can eventually inject some AI into them. And you want to secure the solution. Most enterprises don't know where to start when securing artificial intelligence. In fact, just 38% of organizations using AI say they migrate, uh, mitigate cybersecurity risks. Just 38% mitigate cybersecurity risks. They often think they should wrap their AI with security so no one can get it. But you also need to think about the people side of your security. So that's where you start with your identity management. Then iterate, iterate, iterate. Cyclical process. Artificial intelligence isn't a one and done project. You must continuously monitor and improve it. For example, you may need to scale for higher traffic if more people use your AI tools uh, than you initially expected. If that happens, good for you. Uh, you'll need to scale your compute power and your resources to meet that demand. Or you might need to retain your models for new use cases. You also need some kind of feedback loop from your end users so you can improve their expense experience. It's constantly evolving. So why software one? Um, well, first of all, implementing AI is complex, but we can chunk it down into smaller, more manageable pieces. This is the journey Software One takes with all our customers. It's a series of phases that take you through alignment of your business drivers to the continuous management of your environment with our managed services. The software aligned phase is where we truly, uh, we're truly agnostic, seeking to understand and learn how best to help fulfill our clients' needs. And then advise is where we begin to leverage hyperscaler programs, including funding initiatives. And then we will help you purchase and optimize your cloud investment investments, migrate and modernize your environments as needed, and even help you manage your environment with our managed services. We have a larger look at this in this Metro map, and, and you'll notice the colors from the previous slide kind of uh, translate into here. That's why I like putting these slides together. But customer journeys start with business drivers and priority and end with an agile and adaptable cloud solution. No journey is the same. No two customers are the same. And applications and workloads will follow different journeys within the same customer. As you can see on this metro map, the path taken by Greenfield and Brownfield customers are not going to be the same. We try to meet you where you are at. And then we go from there. So our cloud professional services, where I live, and we have reimagined our cloud professional services to align with today's reality. We'll help you establish a strong and secure foundation for cloud adoption, make intelligent decisions when charting the course for your application portfolio, and help you maximize your return on investment and benefit from hyperscaler incentives. We also want to reiterate that we are cloud agnostic, although obviously in my, my emphasis is in Azure and our AWS team deals with exclusively with that platform, but the decisions that go with Azure AWS or GCP should be made earlier in the advisory stages. And of course, we can also do multi-cloud when we are working between hyperscalers if necessary. For all hyperscalers, we leverage hyperscaler native where native tools exist. Our charging models are the same, irrespective of which hyperscaler. The service entitlement is the same, irrespective of, of the hyperscaler we're using. 
And this is all deliberate because we want a preferred cloud partner selection by our customers to be strategy based, not influenced by service or cost variances from us influencing key decisions such as hyperscaler selection. Then we have our cloud managed services. We call this the, to bridge the talent gap with experts you need to operate in the cloud. So our cloud managed services tiers are applied on a per subscription basis, giving you the structured flexibility to make decisions about the level of service you need for each account in your portfolio. And we just act as an extension of our customer's team from just the basics to fully managed. The essentials tier, it's minimally managed, just budgeting and cloud support. Maybe for a client with a large dev test in state, they may have a higher percentage of essentials uh, coverage since it's just minimally managed. Then we have uh, advanced, commonly used where clients are looking for a partner to do the heavy lifting around operations and, and 24 by seven support. But they wanna build and manage the most of their environment themselves. They might have a significant volume of applications under advanced if they have um, a lot of legacy or uh, uh, commercial off-the-shelf applications, which you just want to maintain and ensure uptime. Then premium. Premium is primarily for clients who are fully infrastructure as code. And maybe looking for a partner who can ex act as an extension of their team um, going forward in, in deploying this automated deployment scenarios. And all of these programs, they come with 24-7 uh, support where you can sustain operations with global support in a time zone near you. Uh, they reduce risk by ensuring security and governance of your cloud estate with a proven provider. Cost optimization. So we help you manage cloud spending and avoid surprises with anomaly alerts reliability, and you'll minimize downtime and improve resilience with uh, of your data and systems, and then improved performance using monitoring to improve system performance. Uh, you get structured flexibility, get a little help or a lot, as you can see with the, the different tiers we offer. Uh, so get a little help or a lot of help for all part of your portfolio or all of it. Now this is very flexible. And there are self-service controls. So fine tune your level of support through tagging or other, other methods that you wanna keep track of, of your individual environments. And multi-cloud, leverage our strong partnership with Microsoft, Amazon Web Services, and Google. Finally, I just wanna thank everyone for spending your your time with us while we discuss how Software One can help you uh, prepare for an AI powered world uh, with Azure migration and modernization. So thank you all. All right, and thanks to you, Dan, for putting together a really informative presentation there. Really appreciate your time today. And for those of you who ask questions, we will make sure that uh, the Dan and the Software One team get those questions so they can follow up with you. And a quick reminder that this is your last chance to grab those valuable PDFs before we close the event in uh, just a moment. So before we wrap up, we do have that one more piece of business. It's the Amazon gift card prize drawing. And the winner of the $250 Amazon gift card is Winston Ramos from North Carolina. So congratulations to Winston. We'll be in touch to get you your card. And with that, on behalf of the actual tech media team, I wanna thank Software One for making this event possible. And thanks as always for attending. That concludes today's event. Have a great rest of your day.